Hi guys and welcome to Fandom Newbie. My name is Shruti and today I'm going to be talking about seven ways in which you can read books for free. Now these are absolutely legal ways in which you can access books for absolutely no cost and uh, these are some that I've been using to get like books, short stories, poems, audiobooks also. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. So the first one that I want to talk about is called Open Library. So Open Library is basically this online digital library and their main goal is to make every single book that has ever been published available on that library for free for everyone. So basically how it works is once you sign up to the website and you log in to, to that website, you can go and browse every single book that they have on that platform. Now the only thing is that since this is a library, it functions like a library, which means that you can't uh, download the books and keep them with you forever. You have to borrow the books for 14 days. But I think that that is enough for you to like finish any book. Like 14 days should be enough for you to finish any book. So I feel like it's an amazing resource that allows you to read any book that you want for free online. The next ones that I want to talk about are public domain books. Now you can access public domain books on uh, Google Books if you have an Android phone or on iBooks if you have an Apple phone. So public domain books are basically like really old books or books basically whose copyright has expired. I own an iPhone so I can only show you how this works on uh, iBooks um, but I'm sure that if you go on your Google Play app or Google Books app on your Android phone you should easily be able to access these books. So basically if you go into the bookstore tab of iBooks you should be able to see every single book that is public domain and if you don't know just type out a classic I'm sure it's going to be public domain so if you type out Pride and Prejudice I'm sure it'll be there if you type out Little Women I'm sure it'll be there Frankenstein it will be there like all these really amazing popular classics that so many people spend so much money to buy you can access them for absolutely no cost on your phone and I think that that is the best thing about public domain books. Now the other thing about public domain books is that every single year new books are added to the public domain so as like the copyrights of books kind of wears off or it gets over they get added to the public domain. So every year you have new books that are added to different websites on the internet. So if you can't access some books on uh, Apple Books or Google Books, basically, you can check out a website called Gutenberg.com. I leave all the links on in the description for you guys to check out. But on here, you can find almost all the books that are available in the public domain. So for example, a lot of Agatha Christie's books actually get added to the public domain because her books are quite old. They are like from the 1920s like you know early 1920s 1930s so a lot of them will get added to the public domain so keep googling just like type out books entering public domain in 2021 or books um, and that books that entered public domain in 2020 and you should be able to access them on gutenberg.com now speaking of public domain books my third recommendation is called digitalbook.io now this is a place for you to listen to audiobooks that are in the public domain so again mostly like all the classics and a lot of like historical books and things like that will be available on digitalbook.io because all of them again are in the public domain so if you don't want to read classics but you want to listen to them because i honestly feel like listening to classics is a better way to enjoy them than reading them because like sometimes classics can be very difficult to read so i honestly enjoy listening to them rather than reading them so you can find uh like pride and prejudice again frankenstein all of the like major classics you will be able to find them on digitalbook.io so yeah another great resource for listening to books that are in or audiobooks rather that are in the public domain the next one that i want to talk about is called narrativemagazine.com now this is an online magazine where um, unpublished authors can write their own short stories, essays, poems, and things like that. Now, I know that these authors are unpublished and you might not find a lot of famous names on this website, but I feel like it's a great free resource place for you to find a bunch of like different short stories uh, from like different genres, fiction, nonfiction, poetry, just, you know, just about anything. And it's like, 
a really really nice place to find like new authors fresh uh, short stories so yeah uh, narrativemagazine.com is a great resource as well another like online magazine resource which i really love is called tor.com now if you're a fantasy nerd you've probably already heard of tor.com but if you haven't and you want to like get into fantasy culture and fan culture and things like that then definitely check out tor.com it is like this nice little nook on the internet which is so geeky and so nerdy and it's like the perfect place for fantasy and science fiction lovers again it's a place where uh, unpublished authors can actually present their works and uh, write their short stories or even some of them like write out their books or like novellas on there and again it's a really fun place to just read different fantasy stories and different science fiction stories so yeah another place for fantasy nerds to geek out <laughs> the next website that i want to talk about is called smashwords.com now this also has an extensive collection of books which are for free so all you have to do is when you go into the search function of the website just click on the free tab and you should be able to see all the books that are available for free try to find books within the horror and thriller section because those appear to be really good as well as books uh, in the graphic novel section there's one that i thought was extremely interesting which was called kelly uh it just seems super duper interesting so i'm definitely going to download that one and read it because it sounds very interesting i don't know how good it'll be but yeah like browse through the entire website i'm sure you'll be able to find some books at least which are uh worth your while and which are actually good and all of them are absolutely free so i mean come on <laughs> The next one that I want to talk about is called bookbub.com. Now this is a fantastic website. Now basically what bookbub does is that it curates a list of all the books which are on the internet that are available for free. So basically from uh websites like Amazon and I mean like in the US from like websites like Barnes and Noble and other bookstores but mainly from Amazon it puts together a list of all the books available on Amazon for free. So you don't have to like spend a lot of time of going on to Amazon and trying to find which books are available for free. You can just go to bookbub.com and again use the search function to look for free books and you'll be able to see all the books which are available for free. And then once you click on the book it will take you to the Amazon website and over there you'll be able to go through the normal checkout process of getting the book for free. So I feel like it's a really like hassle free way to find um like great free books because because they are available on websites like Amazon you can also check things like the reviews and ratings and you know just read about what other people have to say about the book. So I feel like it's a fantastic way to find good quality free books for you to read so definitely check out bookbub again links will be in the description so those were all the websites that you can use to access free books like books for absolutely no cost but there's one website uh, actually an app that i want to mention which there is a cost but i feel like it's a super affordable way to listen to audiobooks and i personally absolutely love it and that is storytel no this video is not sponsored by storytel uh it's just an app that i use constantly storytel if you're watching i absolutely love you please sponsor me <laughs> but i really 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 love this app um in india it is 299 rupees per month for the subscription for storytel but the library on storytel is just phenomenal there are so many books so many books on there like so many of the series that i have mentioned on my channel are on storytel the devabad trilogy that i mentioned it's on storytel the poppy war trilogy that i've mentioned it's on storytel the infernal devices trilogy that i've been reading is on storytel harry potter is on storytel i think game of thrones the all books are on storytel just so many books are on storytel so honestly i feel the 299 rupees per month that you pay is really really affordable for the amount of books that you get and the amount of books that you can listen to uh in a month like if you listen to six books a month which i think you you should be able to if you're an avid reader you should be able to listen to six books a month that just comes out to 50 rupees per audiobook and audiobooks are generally like expensive <laughs> audiobooks are not cheap so just 50 rupees per audiobook i think 
is very affordable. So yeah, definitely check out Storytel. I know this sounds like it's a sponsored ad, but it's not. I genuinely love the app and I really feel that it's good. I wish this video was sponsored, but it's not. Uh, but yeah, check out Storytel. I'll leave the link in the description. If you haven't downloaded it already, definitely download it and you will not regret it. <laughs> So yeah, that was my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys found it useful and you found a bunch of resources where you can read books for free. If you did enjoy it, give it a big fat thumbs up, leave a comment down below and of course, do subscribe to my channel for more book-related videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!